It is a special privilege to bring forward today Matthew Berry for the award of Honorary Doctor of Arts. Born and raised in Bromham, Bedfordshire, Matthew is a BAFTA award-winning actor, writer, comedian, and musician. Matthew is perhaps best known for his acting role as Douglas Rainholm in the IT crowd, as well as his appearances on The Mighty Boosh, his role as Beef in House of Fools, and the title character Stephen Toast in the Channel 4 sitcom he co-created, The Toast, Toast of London. Renowned for his distinctive voice, Matthew has voiced several notable advertisements such as Volvic, Absolute Radio, and MoneySupermarket.com. <laughs> After graduating with a BA in Contemporary Art, Matthew began his career as a runner before appearing in the magazine-style show Game Over for B Sky B's computer and technology channel. His major break came after meeting the duo behind the mighty Boosh while performing at the Hen and Chickens Fringe Theatre in Islington, where they were resident in the year 2000. Matthew can be seen making a cameo performance in the Mighty Boosh Live DVD, and he went on to later be cast as the eccentric and sinister tycoon explorer Dixon Bainbridge in the show. Since then, Matthew has gone on to write and star in his own BBC comedy Snuffbox, and has taken on the role of Michael Duffy in the BBC production of Five Daughters, which he portrayed the events surrounding the Ipswich murders of 2006. Matthew's acting career was extended to the world of film, where he has been credited in many films, most recently in the role of Percy in Snow White and the Huntsman, and as the voice of Bubbles the Dolphin in the second SpongeBob SquarePants feature film. Matthew received a BAFTA award in 2015 for Best Male Comedy Performance for his role in the Toast of London series and, and was amongst the nominees for Best Male Comedy Newcomer in 2007 at the British Comedy Awards. His accreditation stretches beyond the screen where he won Best Radio Comedy at the actor Writers, uh, uh, the Writers Guild Awards for the BBC Four radio series, Regress. Aside from his writing and acting career, Matthew's passion is for music. He has enjoyed great success performing with his band, Matt Berry and the Maypoles, composing music and theme tunes for various shows, uh, various TV shows and sketches, and has even composed and starred in his own musical, ADBC, a rock opera. It is therefore with, great, with the greatest pleasure, Mr. President, that I now present to you Matthew Berry for the award of Honorary Doctor of Arts for his outstanding services to performing arts. Good afternoon. Um, okay, firstly, I want to say how honored I am to be uh, invited to watch your graduation, and equally to thank you for thinking of me in regards to your award here in Bedford, my hometown. Now, I try to think of a word that summed up the subject of the award being the arts and my whole career and the word I came up with was lucky it's a word that for me feels relevant in both areas now I was lucky to be invited to go to Calais a couple of months ago to see the makeshift town known as the jungle where a large group of refugees have for now ended up amongst them would have been artists musicians poets actors etc but looking around, I realized that those vocations would have been the last thing on their minds as they queued up for trousers that didn't fit and tins of tuna for their families. Don't worry, it gets funnier. 
It made me realize that the arts can only really be practiced and, st and studied within a free environment or country. As a youngster, I was lucky to be given an organ, which I played with on my own for hours. Nothing unusual there for a teenage boy, you might think. But it's that, that I was lucky enough to have had the freedom to play that organ, which led to me writing songs, which eventually led to me releasing albums. Or lucky to have been free to tell jokes in the London dungeon, which eventually led to me being on the telly. That wouldn't have happened. It couldn't have progressed within anything other than a free state. I was lucky. I can't fail also to mention that none of this would have happened without the blind faith, love, and support of my parents who are sat there in the audience. Okay, now this is aimed at the arts lot. Um, when, it comes to, uh, when it comes to giving advice, I'm not really kind of qualified because I can't take it. But I've been asked to do so, so I should be very brief. Right, number one. If you're serious about a career in the arts, then you have to burn your bridges towards getting a normal job. Temp jobs are best, as you only have short contracts and you can walk out whenever you like. Two, the best art, in my experience, is always the art that no one has asked for or is expecting. Three, in reality, no one will do you any favors or give you a break until pound signs are involved or you're halfway up the ladder. In the beginning, you really are on your own. And number four, and lastly, and probably the most important, always make sure you have a decent pair of shoes and a good bed, because if you're not in one, you're in the other. <laughs> Be lucky. <laughs>